Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. First of all, I'm making this video to welcome the nearly 1,000 subscribers that I picked up on this channel recently from a million dollar Bogan video. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about the Bogan himself. My, uh, I guess my experience and, and you know the truth behind the million dollar Bogan. Before we get into that, I do want to welcome you guys again, uh, the new subscribers and also to the uh, OGs that have been on the channel, kind of reiterate what this channel is all about. Now, I am not all about motorcycles. If you're new to the channel, you would have seen one of my most recent videos was talking about the build series I'm going to be doing with my uh, pickup truck. And uh, I know a lot of people in this YouTube space like to, I guess, drill down on a niche and really hammer that home. But my whole place in this YouTube world was really built around just sharing my hobbies and a lot of that is around uh, the motorcycle, uh, my truck, occasionally I'll make just random automotive uh, content. The last thing I've ever wanted to do on this channel is make any of my hobbies another job. So I've just tried to keep it fresh for me which keeps it fresh for you guys and I try to I guess focus on things that I think overlap and that is motorcycles, automotive, trucks, things like that. That's what I'm about, and that's what I wanted to uh, kind of catch you guys up to speed on in terms of, you know, welcoming you to the channel. So, with that, that Million Dollar Bogan video that just came out, uh, first and foremost, I was really bummed out that I couldn't make the live stream because I wanted to uh, chat with people. I knew that video was coming out, but uh, it was 2 a.m. my time here, and uh, I just got off a week-long work trip and that work trip was uh, multi-city flight delays. There was one day that was in there that uh, I didn't get in town settled in my hotel room till 4 a.m. and had meetings uh, at 8.30 in the morning that ran all day, including a happy hour and things like that. So coming home, uh, that video for Million Dollar Broken dropped and I was just completely shot. Uh, it just didn't work out. So. With that, I did want to cut a video and talk about that experience, uh, meeting Millie Dollar Bogan, Danny, and uh, also meeting uh, David Perry as well when they were in town. So what was really wild, that was early June. So that video that you guys just would have watched was uh, I think June uh, 5th, I believe it was. And I have a photo I'll insert here, uh, uh, Danny's bike at a hotel in here uh, in Phoenix. But yeah, several months has gone by. Today is, August uh, 25th, 26th, it was a Sunday, very busy, you know, my life, I've got a wife, I've got a, a six-year-old, at that time she was five-year-old, we were about to head to the pool, but uh, before going to the pool, I was in the bathroom, and as I do when in the bathroom, scrolling through Instagram, and I see this post from him an hour from my house that he's stranded, so naturally, right off the bat, I, I reach out to him, I didn't know the level of which he was stranded, and I said, hey, if you need me to come and grab a trailer and, and you know, tow your bike somewhere, I'll, I'll come get you, whatever you need. And his response was, no, I'm good, I can ride, which now watching his video, uh, he did some serious riding. I've always been terrified of getting a front uh, flat on my bike. Uh, Danny Hayes, not so much. He, uh, I mean, obviously he was afraid of it, but uh, he rode like hell to get out of Mexico to get back here to the States to get that fixed. I don't know if I would have had the balls to do it, so uh, hats off to him for that. And uh, with that, uh, you know, he needed some help. So I uh, started to call around after speaking to him and finding out what he had needed. Uh, I started calling around some shops locally. Now, obviously Danny's not super in tune with the local motorcycle scene here in Phoenix, uh, being from Australia. Um, I'm also not super in depth, I guess, in terms of knowledge, in terms of all these like, like smaller shops in town, the independent shops. Uh, I tend to wrench out my own stuff, so I'm not always really looking for those those kinds of shops. So luckily for Million Dollar Bogan, I knew of a shop in town uh, called The Collective that had yet another Danny. So you have me, Dan, you have Danny Hayes from Million Dollar Bogan, and Danny Wilson <laughs> from The Collective. I knew of him because when John Maxwell was in town, which he's going back a few years ago now, we were out to dinner and I was just chatting with him about uh, some things, and he had mentioned that he wanted to get over to Buddy Stubbs to meet uh, Danny Wilson, which I don't think ever happened, uh, and he referred to him as uh, Motor Witch. So uh, I knew of him from all of that, and I've been uh, following him on Instagram, so I knew 
after calling through a bunch of Harley dealerships to reach out to the collective. Those dudes got back to me in very quick time on Instagram. Again, I don't personally know them. And they said, yep, we have a, a wheel here. No other Harley shop in town could not only not get one, but they couldn't get one even with any sort of estimated time frame uh, to get him back on the road. So uh, I reached out to the Bogan and said, hey, man, uh, these guys have a wheel. And at that point, uh, Danny was obviously super grateful because I didn't know it at the time, but his trip was pretty much shot. So I hooked him up with the collective and he got going uh, the next day, which that video was awesome. I'm so happy that, uh, you know, I built that bridge to the collective because that video was epic. Uh, seeing that shop, which I need to get over there and check those guys out at some point because it's incredible uh, what it is they're doing over there. The bikes are just absolutely out of this world gnarly. When I reached out to Danny Hayes and said, hey man, uh, I got this wheel for you. Uh, he was super grateful and he's like, hey, why don't you come down and meet me downtown? I want to buy you dinner. And I did. So this is where I want to talk about Million Dollar Bogan and what he's all about and also the perception of Million Dollar Bogan. Perception is everything. I mean, everybody, when they, you know, they're going to see you, meet you, hear from you, whatever, and develop an opinion rather quickly. I always try to kind of walk that back and, and make sure I give people uh, time to, I guess, develop, you know, my, my real perception of who these people are. And I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of comments about Million Dollar Bogan. People who are like, oh, he's just out there thrashing these bikes because he's, you know, wealthy and, and doesn't care about the motorcycles. And, and uh, I mean, he kind of painted that picture himself with the name of his channel, obviously. Uh, talking to him about that, his initial intent of his channel wasn't necessarily all about motorcycles. He's a real estate guy, and there was obviously a lot uh, of it behind that. And as a creator myself, I totally understand switching gears and, and kind of taking different paths. That's why I kind of named my channel vaguely Gears and Gadgets, so I had a path that I could kind of navigate through as I developed as a creator, and I'm happy I did so. So anyways, uh, you know, Danny and his channel, yeah, he has his perception, but uh, the other thing too is watching his videos, as I've done for a long time, he's very, I mean, he's energetic like, like nobody I've ever seen in my life, and I think that also kind of combining that into the million dollar bogan thing you start to develop this this perception like maybe he's just this really well off cocky and, and really difficult to get along with maybe kind of guy you know not one of us sort of thing getting to meet danny hayes and his buddy uh, david perry at the hotel was such an eye-opening experience about what he is about and the content that he is creating and i'll tell you right now he is far more salt of the earth than i think a lot of people give him credit for uh, yes, he is shot out of a cannon. Uh, he has a lot of energy, and that is part of his personality. But aside from that, I mean, he's he's very uh, inquisitive, and and ultimately, I could tell, was just a very good dude. I'll, I'll tell you what, guys, I can vouch for the fact that he is as is, is legit as they come. And yeah, he's just out there riding his bike, filming his journeys, and of course, I think the, the one thing to keep in mind is that his journeys are certainly things that most of us can't do, whether it be younger family, marriage, uh, jobs, uh, financial capability, um, and I think he understands that for sure. Um, but he is out there just trying to create the best content for you, the viewer, without doing it in a manner that is like turn on the camera and, and develop and be a persona. He is him. What you see on camera is the Million Dollar Bogan. You're just, of course, getting snippets of his rides. So I'm sure there's plenty of times where he's just on the bike and just kind of cruising like everybody else. And then he turns the camera on and kind of tells you what's going on. And uh, yeah, he's just got a lot of, lot of stories to tell. And um, I, I was just very, very pleasantly surprised at, uh, at who he was. Now, one thing I will tell you guys, uh, and he mentioned it in his video, when he asked me to come meet him for dinner, he had said, hey, don't bring a camera. And it was funny, because when he said that, I thought to myself, at first I'm like, oh, what the hell? You know, but I, I really quickly, I, I always try to check myself uh, at any point where I'm like, you know, in that kind of mindset. And um, 
you know, I really was like, what am I going to say? What is my video anyways? Uh, it did. It dawned on me. It's like, well, he's on this massive journey. It's his story to tell. It's not mine. So I'll let that video come out and then I'll, you know, whatever happens, happens. And um, for what it was worth, there was potential that I never made it in any of that video at all. And I was okay with that. My goal was just to help another fellow rider out. Uh, not only a fellow rider, as if you're watching this video and you're just a rider, uh, you have that bond with other riders kind of naturally. That also applies to creators, at least for me. Uh, anytime that I get a chance to either meet a somebody I would think would be a cool creator or help them out or whatever, um, I feel like it's a very similar kind of thing with uh, that bond amongst creators. So, of course, motorcycle and creator, yeah, I'm going to help the dude out. Just one of those things. You know, I don't expect anything in return, but it's just nice to help other people out. So, uh, you know, we had some dinner and just kind of talked a bit about, you know, being a creator. I was sharing with him some of the things I experienced with my channel, which is different, obviously, than his. And, uh, you know, some of the, I guess, like the revenue side of things and uh, not super in depth, but just in terms of, you know, being a, a creator in the U.S. versus being a creator in Australia. There's so much cool stuff to talk about. But anyways, we had dinner and then uh, he asked me, he's like, you want to come back to the room? And, and, and I want to, you know, he wanted to chat with me about part shortages and things like that. So I'm like, yeah, sure. And, uh, you know, I went up to his room. We chatted for a bit. You guys saw that part all on camera. But after that, what was really cool was we started talking about kind of like our editing processes and he pulled out uh, his hard drive and uh, started showing me footage from this trip that he's been taking through California and you know, Arizona, Mexico and started sharing uh, some of that footage with me and uh, it was kind of cool. I got like a sneak peek into, uh, into his series and where that was going. So uh, just always cool to, to meet people and I, I'm super thrilled to have gotten a chance to kind of meet up with him whether our paths cross again or not in the future, who knows? Uh, obviously, we're uh, not super close close by, but um, I did want to get a video out and, and address that and, you know, kind of share with you guys what my channel is all about. I, I'm certainly kind of all over the map sometimes, um, but that is with intention to keep myself interested in uh, being a creator. And, uh, you know, to kind of, I guess, carry on with that a little bit more, talking about those full-time creators uh, I understand and, and, and I think realize that a lot of these full-time creators probably start getting to a point where they don't ride for themselves anymore uh, to the point where they start putting cameras on bikes because they need to make content and now they're no longer enjoying the ride for the sake of riding like any regular normal person would. They're doing it because it's part of the business of creating content and uh, I still, you know, I want to get out on the bike and, and ride and when I'm doing truck stuff, be able to just kind of go out for a ride like a normal, regular person, not a content creator. And, and, and that's what I'm doing. I'm basically, my lack of growth on this channel, which I have a modestly successful YouTube channel, I realize there's people that, uh, it's all, again, subjective. There's people that are, are really hustling it out, maybe have less subscribers, and to those people I say stick with it. And, uh, you know, but, but still, I think my channel could be much, much larger if I stuck with a niche. But I would much, or I, I am much happier having a smaller channel that I'm happy producing content for than having, you know, 300,000 subscribers and feeling pigeonholed into a niche that um, I may eventually grow out of. I don't know. Uh, so I've, I heard a story a long time ago about a creator who developed this persona and had, I don't know, like a million plus subscribers as a young 20 something year old like partier and that was this whole niche was uh, party boy essentially and then got to the point where got older wanted to settle down and it's like man I would hate to have to be like explaining to my wife and daughter who's you know now six years old uh, like yeah daddy's not waking up on Saturday because he's terribly hung over because his job is to go out and just be a complete disaster super fun when you're in your 20s not so fun when you grow out of that stage so that's why my channel is the way it is everything in life comes in in waves and stages i think that i will always be riding motorcycles but i may not always want to be creating content around it uh so with that i just wanted to uh kind of chime in here and fill you guys in on what this channel is about my experience with danny hayes he is an awesome dude and uh i will forever defend uh, that in terms of my experience uh, meeting him and, and having some one-to-one -one conversation um, 
you know, but I do understand some of the misconceptions that I feel like even uh, Danny himself would acknowledge and understand why people might paint him in a certain light. Um, I, I, I totally get it kind of from both sides now, but um, I can, like I said, vouch for what it is he's doing and appreciate that he is thrashing motorcycles like nobody else I've ever seen and probably ever will see again. Uh, the way that they were probably not designed to be ridden and a way to inspire people to basically get out and ride and focus on their own mental health. And I actually genuinely think there is a much larger noble vision that uh, Danny Hayes has for uh, what it is he's doing than fame uh, for fame's sake. And that's what I'll kind of leave this video with. So now I'm getting to sit in amazing traffic when it is 102 degrees outside. That is Fahrenheit. And to all of you Aussies, I will not be translating verbally to Celsius because I have a, uh, well, I have a American public school education. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, guys, with that, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. And I will see you guys next time so long as I don't get rear-ended by somebody on their cell phone.